Very good morning to everybody. Very good morning to everybody. Today we are going to discuss the development topic in social economics subject. Development is the chapter name. So first of all, development means what? Development means it grows more mature, more mature and more advanced. Development means today there are more and more developments are being happening. So in this perspective, what are all the things which we need to cover is development means for example country. India is a developed country. Singapore is also a developed country. Likewise, for each and every country, there will be some substances there. So that is what the development. For example, in your life also, there is some development also we will be dealing on it. What is meant by development? Development means different different. That is different peoples have different developments. Everyone can't able to live in the same field itself. Different different peoples will be living in different different fields. So that is what we have mentioned as the process in which something grows becomes more nature and advanced. Naturally we are developing our skills and attitude and to different peoples. Okay. So under the development, what are all the things which have been associated? World Bank, UNDP. What World Bank means? It is one of the biggest bank in the world. And this has been dealing with per capita income. UNDP means United Nations Development Program. UNDP means United Nations Development Program. So in this United Nations Development Program, there are different fields has been associated. Health, education, then uh, transport, likewise different different sectors has been available. Per capita income likewise. So in this, per capita income means what? Per capita income means it will be defined with national income with the ratio that is national income to ratio mid-year population. That is per capita income is measured as with national income to mid-year population. By that only we will be calculating of the per capita income. Next is economic development. What do you mean by about economic development? Economic development means it is a sustained increase in per capita income that promotes economic welfare by reducing poverty, unemployment, inequalities in distribution of income. There are different type of peoples are being available in this economic development. That is what reducing the poverty. Unemployment. Unemployment is also there in our country. Few of the peoples are not good employed. Because some of the peoples they didn't get an opportunity to work in any private sector or public sector. So in that perspective what they are doing? They are going with some other opportunity like they are doing their own business. And by doing their own business they got developed. So that is what about economic development. Reducing poverty. We need to reduce the poor people's sin. Poor people's needs to be get reduced in our country. That is what one of the economic development. Then inequalities in distribution income. So that is what in economic development national income per capita income. Praveen, are you aware? Yes. Have you got it? Yes. Okay. The next is this World Bank. This World Bank is followed with which report? World Bank is followed with World Development Report. World Development Report is prepared by the World Bank to classify different countries based on their per capita income. Okay. Then Human Development Index. What do you mean by about Human Development Index? Human Development Index is prepared by UNDP through its annual human report development published every year. That is Human Development Index means this report will be prepared by UNDP. Already I have communicated that. UNDP means what? UNDP means United Nations Development Program. What does they deal with? They will be preparing of the Human report, annual human report development. How many children have born this year and how many children die this year? Likewise, different different sustainable reports. 
will be prepared by the human development index so it will be published every year yearly once this report has been published that is what human development index <coughs> the next thing is major parameters are longevity longevity of life levels of literacy and a per capita income are used to measure development of countries world countries how this world countries are ranked in in, in this world how many countries are there ram tell me come on tell me in your nose not right nearly 200, 240 countries 200 plus so those 200 plus countries how they will be ranked they will be ranked like very high developed high developed medium and low developed world countries are ranked according to very high developed high developed medium and low developed okay in this rate only the rank will be mentioned for each and every country so this country is in which position this country is in at which position likewise we can easily able to maintain it maintain the record in this data next is infant mortality rate infant mortality rate is number of children die before one year of age one age within the one year one age if they have reached before reaching of the one age the baby that is the children getting die as a proportion of 1000 live birth in a particular year in a particular year if 1000 babies have been dead died means 1000 babies are living birth so likewise also this type of turnover is coming up that is what it is said to be as infant mortality rate next is literacy rate literacy rate means what literacy rate means proportion of literate population in seven and age group that is proportion of population in the age of seven and above age group how they are calculating it likewise they will be doing it that is what about said to be as literacy rate next is net attention ratio how we are dealing with this net attention ratio total number of children of age group 6 to 10 attending a school the group of students who are at the age of 6 to children the 6 to 10 the children those who are at the age of 6 to 10 attending a school as a percentage of total number of children in the same group sustainable development what do you mean by sustainable development development without hampering the environment that is there is no hampering without hampering how the environment is getting developed process of development that satisfies the present needs without compromising the needs of future generation okay that is how the development has been get process and by the by the process of development when the development is getting process we need to satisfy the present needs whatever we are earning we need to be get satisfied and if you are going to reach with the particular high position why the process is going on means at the time we need to get satisfied we should not get bothered so that is what without compromising the needs of future generation we should not compromise in future what it will be happen or oh, in future if this type of the thing as income means then it will be very difficult right likewise number of things should be happened so this is what about sustainable development national development national development means mainly the lives of the citizens the citizen need to be live in our life so for that improvement needs to be done from our nation perspective so our nation is which one india is our nation so india is our nation means india need to take a sustainable step to develop our lives of the citizens if our citizen need to live more and more if the citizen is getting die means that country is a worst country but in india that type of thing is not there if any agriculture related problems are coming so for that national development national government needs to take some necessary actions and they need to 
allocate some funds for each and every department even for agriculture and for other departments also it should be done so that is what about national development okay okay